Hi there and welcome to Thursday's news today. We've got a lot coming up for you including It's snow time to play for one panda in Canada. But first, you may have been hearing a lot about water charges recently. They were introduced at the start of last month, but from the beginning there was much disagreement about how much they cost and how the system was being run. Thousands of people protested and yesterday the government announced it was making big changes. I've been taking a look at what it's all about. The idea of paying for water is not a new one. In fact, Ireland was the only European country not paying for water. However, the introduction of water charges and the company tasked with the job, Irish Water, has been very controversial. The public had many questions. How would Irish Water be run? What will the water cost us? Those in areas where water has to be boiled to be safe for consumption were angry at having to pay for what they see as a faulty product. Protests took place around the country and some people tried to stop Irish water workers from installing water meters. We won't pay. Well, yesterday, in response to the public anger, the government announced a new water grant that, when included, means that water charges will not go above 60 euro for a house with one adult, while all other households will pay no more than 160 euro. That means that no matter how much water you use, you won't pay more than those charges. On the other side, the less water you use, the less you pay. But the Right to Water group, which is campaigning for the charges to be completely abolished, is calling for people to pro...